we are continuing to take uh, input from the user uh, using uh, this uh, these args, which uh, which are lots of fun because you can uh, take in information from the uh, the user and modify your program uh, depending on what you get. So we're going to um, you know, bring in this args again, and what we're going to do is uh, this is the sort of input uh, we're going to look for. So we're going to have cargo run. Uh, the user should be able to write capitalize or uh, lowercase and then uh, print something like add something like hello there and we're going to return uh, hello there and then uh, the other option is uh, lowercase like that and then uh, if we have like a uh, you know capital there then uh, it's going to uh, make everything uh, lowercase because they asked for lowercase and then um, in the uh, the other cases, uh, you know, we'll just leave a uh, print out what whatever we get uh, is the third case. So that uh, you know that sounds like time for an enum because we have three choices. So capitalize, we'll call it letters, uh, lowercase, and nothing. And uh, nothing is just you know do nothing to it. And that doesn't say main. That does. And so what we'll do is first we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll bring in this uh, the enum. We'll say, okay, here's the base case. Uh, we have, you know, we're not doing anything, any changes yet, because uh, the user didn't tell us to. And then we're going to take the uh, the input uh, thanks to this uh, args uh, function, and uh, we'll make it into a vec because uh, vecs are much more useful. Uh, so we'll, you know, do that. Just turn it into a vec. And we're really good with vecs. And uh, then the input uh, should be at least um, at least three to do this because we have um, you know item one is going to be the program name uh, that's going to be uh, you know the first uh, the first part of args and then uh, and then you have um, you know there should be uh, capital something like that the command to do it and then after that should be you know some sort of word so that's you know that's a minimum of uh, three things coming in. So uh, we're going to say, okay, if the input is uh, at least three greater than one, then we're going to say match input uh, one. This is where the command will have to be. And let's uh, turn it into a stir so we can match on stirs because it's uh, it looks nice that way. Um, so we'll say if we get uh, capital, then uh, changes equals uh, letters capitalized. So we're going to change the enum. Uh, if it's a lower case with an L, then uh, changes is going to be letters, uh, lower case, like that. And then uh, the only other possibility is, you know, what we have already, so we're not going to do anything like that. And then, uh, then what we're going to do is go over our words. So for word in input uh, dot uh, iter and we're going to skip the first two because the first is the program name and the the next one we already looked at so we don't need them and then we're going to say match uh, changes match on our enum and if it's uh if it's a letters capitalized then we're going to print it out as a uppercase to uppercase like that and then if it's uh, letters uh, lowercase, then we're going to make it lowercase word to lowercase. And then uh, the last option is uh, we're just going to print it out as it is, print word, and that's all there is to it. So I think this should work now. Uh, so let's say cargo run, um, Let's see, capital, and then hello there. Uh, let's see if, whoops, in, should be if. Clear, and then let's try that. Uh, cargo run, capital, hello there. And you can see it's turned it into capital letters, uh, so it's working. Uh, if we say uh, lowercase, uh, hello there. Like that, it should all be lowercase. And run, uh, please give me what I typed. Then uh, it's going to, uh, you know, say give me what I typed. So it's going to ignore the uh, the first one. You know, it's going to assume that this is a command and it's going to ignore it. And then, of course, if you wanted to make this into something actually useful, you would want to 
you know, give an error message or say uh, maybe require capital or lowercase or something like that. So that's uh, that's a little bit of a look at uh, at how uh, args work. And uh, on top of that, uh, actually, no, I'm going to uh, save that for the next video. The next uh, the next thing we're going to look at is um, the environment variables. So you can um, you can pull that up and um, kind of see what the 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 all the what the version is, uh, what um, you know, the name of the file, uh, all the all the variables in the environment at the, at the current time. You can uh, you can pull those up and you can uh, work with those as well. So we'll see those in the next video.